The first term I want to introduce is an event. So an event in physics and relativity has a very particular meaning. An event refers to some physical occurrence that can be described as happening at a definite point in space and at a definite time. So something that you can say when it happened and where it happened. So an example might be a snapping my fingers, um, two things colliding, um, on a waving, all of those could be described as an event. It's a thing that happens, a physical thing that happens at a particular moment in time and at a particular moment in space. It's not spread out, it doesn't last for hours and hours, it's a particular moment. We would describe an event by listing its space-time coordinates. So the first thing we would need to do is set up a coordinate system. So an origin will be here, an x-axis, and a y-axis, and then you'll have a z-axis coming out of the paper. I'm not going to attempt to draw that because my 3D drawings never work out as planned. Okay, so if we have a event that occurs in a particular location in space, how far in the x direction, how far in the y direction, how far in the z direction up, we would describe its um, location by giving those three numbers, x, y, and z, and then we'll also need to give a time coordinate, a time value, for the time at which that event occurred. So, um, this would be a space-time, these are space-time coordinates. And that would be a, a series of four numbers, maybe something like this. So this is just a, these are completely made up numbers. This would describe an event that happens three seconds uh, after your zero time, so you choose a zero time in a zero position, and then one meter in the x direction, two meters in the y direction, 1.5 meters in the z direction. So this tells us the time at which an event occurs, and this tells us the spatial position, and together this is, these are the space-time coordinates. We would say these four numbers describe a point in space-time. So we've talked about events. An event is a physical occurrence, right, that has, um, happens at a particular point at a particular time. Let's now think a little bit about motion of an object. So maybe we have an object, I don't know, like this little, this ball, which is actually a cat toy, um, and it moves horizontally along in that direction. How might we describe that? So let's say we have an object that moves like that. And we could think, maybe picture an airplane blinking with blinking lights at night or a boat or something. And um, maybe every second it blinks. So these little orange things are supposed to be the blinking of a light. And these are closer together maybe because it slows down. So each of these um, blinks, these flashes of light, each of those we could think of a, as an event, and we could plot those um, in space-time. This time this is t, and this is x, and let's say this is t equals zero. So this motion might look something like that. So again, thinking of these as discrete events and then plotting events here along these axes. And then if we want to describe the um, continual motion, I can imagine just having more and more and more events. And then this, in other words, maybe it's, fl it's flashing more frequently or it's flashing just all the time. And then I could fill in these dots and eventually this would come to look like a line. So the subtlety here is just interpreting motion as a series of events.